In this example, we're going to look at a type 3 application of percents. And it's not very important that you memorize the type. What is important is that you can take the information in the problem and identify the parts to write a percent question, then translate that to a percent equation to find the parts that are missing. So let's see what's going on with this problem. Trader Joe's sold 8,233 bags of chips recently. So I'm going to circle that because it's probably important. 5,178 of these bags were fat free. Find the percent that were fat free. So there's our goal. So let's see if we can write a percent question here. I'm going to write 5,178 equals what percent of 82.33. So 5,178 is what percent of 8,233? There's our percent question. To write that as a percent equation, I'm going to write that as 5,178 equals x times 8,233. To solve for the unknown x, I'm going to divide both sides by 8,233. That's going to cancel the 8,233 on the right and leave me with this ratio or this fraction for x. If I perform that division on my calculator, I can say that x equals, and I'm going to write out quite a few of the decimals here. It's not all of them, I don't think, but I'm just going to show you what's going to happen. So this is x as a decimal. If I want to make that as a percent, I'm going to need to write that as 62.89%, but we want to round our answer to the nearest whole percent. So that's going to be to the ones place here. I'm going to look at this 8 and then make that a 3. So my final result for percent is going to be 63%. So let's respond to our goal with a complete sentence and say that 63% of the chips or bags of chips were fat free. And let's just do a quick check on this number, make sure it makes sense. So we have 5,178 out of 8,233 Seems like 63% is very, very reasonable.